Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different 12 Vlog. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today and if not, I hope it gets better for you and that's why you got to manifest, plan, prepare for it and then it will surely come to you guys. As well as you got to be working on your plan, your come, your come up plan like Cardi B or they come back like Robert D. There is no more in between you guys. Um, so for today's vlog, jumping right into it, we're going to end the month of May. Uh, you know, it's the month of uh, mental health awareness. And so we're definitely we're going to do a vlog uh, and tackle that social issue and touching bases on that. You guys know with my business, Third Eye Entertainment, you know, it's our core that we talk about these social issues and bring them to light and we advocate and the importance of talking about it and bringing social awareness. So here I am again with you all today, you know, sharing with you guys, you know, my thoughts and my opinions, as well as my own testimony and in struggles dealing with, you know, mental health issues, as well as, you know, making sure, you know, I keep a positive plan of action so that I don't go off the deep end. Um, for those who, who don't know me yet, um, <clears throat> this past December, my mother died. She passed away in my arms the day after Christmas uh, from kidney failure. She was on dialysis patients for 16, 17 years. And, you know, three days out of the week, getting poked with three or four needles for three to four hours, you know, every day of her life for 16, 17 years. Um, that's a mighty, mighty strong woman. And, you know, who had a lot of will to live. It's just, you know, her body gave out on her. And, where I'm at mentally with that, being honest, I I, I don't want to say I, I want to go off the deep end, but it's so easy to. It's, it's I understand, you know, the reason why now so many people turn to drugs, sex, and alcohol, you know, to to deal with their depressions and their anxieties. Man, when my mother first passed. Um, my initial urge out of nowhere it came was that that urge to drink. And, 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 and get, you know, tossed up, man, so that I can forget about that pain. I don't drink at all. I hate drinking, as a matter of fact. But one thing I do know about liquor is that it does numb the pain, and I need something to numb the pain, so to speak. I'm still in pain and looking for things to numb it. This past Mother's Day, it was the worst for me, man. I was supposed to post a video for you guys, for her and her honor, and I just couldn't do it. Still haven't done it because, I, you know, it, it's just it's hard for me right now. But I'm working through it. I'm getting it done, and it is coming for you guys. But, you know, I, I, I right now... It takes everything in me, you know. I stay right across the street from a liquor store, so I, <laughs> like I said, I don't drink. But when I get that thought, of, you know, thinking about my mom too much, I do get a little depressed. Not just a little, a lot. I get sad, I get upset, you know. I want to drown that panic in and numb it, and you know, also, you know, just going across the street and give you a, me a bottle and turning it up, you know, that's what helps. But I know, through any end that's going to lead me down a road that I don't want to go. And so I stay prayed up. I stay busy. I stay active. You know, I get up, go to work, come home, have purpose, you know, at home, you know, working out, working on my vlog videos, as well as, you know, just doing interviews and promoting my book and just staying focused, you guys. Um, for me and, and with my mental health, uh, like I told you guys before, I've, I've been dealing with depression and, and all throughout my childhood, dealing with the, that trauma and what I had been through, going through homelessness and foster care and, and physical and verbal abuse. I, I, <clears throat> I'm in therapy right now, you know, talking about my issues, and that's also important, you know, being able to talk with somebody about those, you know, issues that plague you. And so uh, I want to stop right here and say again, for anybody out there that's going through any type of mental anguish, feeling depressed, being bullied, feeling suicidal, anything, suffering from anxiety attacks, please know that it is okay to not be okay, but just don't sit there and not be okay. Go get your mental health in check before you go off the deep end, before you go down a road there is no returning from, aka a road of suicide. Um, a lot of the times, you know, I hurt people hurt people. And we just had the Uvalde shooting a week ago, and as you've seen, and the story develops, this, this Rainbow's kid, this 18-year-old kid, um, <clears throat> what he went through school, of course he was bullied, and as you can see, you know, as soon as he turned 18, he was able to go get a gun 
and take it out on other people. You know, 21 innocent people, children and adults have lost their lives because of this. And uh, I, I, I say, you know, the reason being, if you don't go get help, man, and if you get to that point where you're going off the deep end, most of the time, you're gonna end up taking somebody with you, man. And so before it gets to that point, it's, it has to be on you. You have to be the one that has the, the willpower and the power to say, you know, I need help. I need to go fix my issues, whether it be, you know, talking about it, getting on medication, you know, talking with the family member, picking up a, a hobby, whatever it is that you have to do to keep your mental health in check and keep from going off the deep end, you do it. I don't care if it is gardening or, or, or knitting, do it, <laughs> you know, or crocheting, you know, I used to crochet my damn self, so if that is what's soothing to you and it gives you peace and calmness and it keeps you from going off the deep end, please do it. Um, I did a vlog a while back and you guys should go and check that out. Uh, me sharing my thoughts on suicide. I believe I titled it uh, Suicide is a Cultural Thing and I shared some statistical facts with you guys in there. And I just want to share that again with you all uh, here. Uh, know that in the U.S. 12 percent, excuse me, I'm thinking that <clears throat> And it, sorry if my, my timeline number is wrong, but you guys can also go back and do your own research. Uh, I'm giving you information, but again, know that it's on you to do your own research and find what works best for you, okay? So with that being said, information that I found out last year, uh, studies show that at least 12% of the pop U.S. population have thought about suicide. Uh, Three and a half percent have planned for suicide, uh, which I believe... 14%, what's the number I got right here, um, actually, uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, attempt suicide, and um, every 11 minutes somebody attempts suicide, every 10 minutes uh, somebody succeeds, and it is the, uh, excuse me, I got my numbers right here, between the ages of 10 to 34, it's the second highest rate death toll in the U.S. So, there are people from the ages of 10, if you can believe, to 30, 34, uh, are prone to, you know, suffering or going down that road of suicide, man, because of the mental anguish that they deal with. And so, you know, even with those facts right there, those statistical numbers that all, you know, get you, you know, thinking, you know, just every 11 minutes in America, somebody's committing suicide and taking their own life. And, you know, we shouldn't even be talking about this situation on the subject, but here we are. This is the world that we live in. Um, for me, and, and a lot of people in the black culture, I've noticed that a lot of our mental issues or mental anguish and depression and anxiety uh, and even suicidal thoughts stems from the racism that we've dealt with over the years and that we're still dealing with and a lot of the hardships and, and things that we face that not a lot of non-colored people have to go through. Um, so with that being said, you guys, um, and it's not just about black people. White people, people, uh, Asians, Hispanics, everybody goes through depression to have some type of mental anguish. It's not just about black people. I want to note that as well. But I see me being a black woman, I, I can tell, and, and you guys, and, and, and people feel free to agree with me, that's in that culture, um, a lot of our mental anguish and depression and anxiety stems from, you know, racial hardship that we've dealt with in America. Um, and so, I can, and, and as well as what we've gone through sometimes in our childhood, uh, relationship-wise as well, um, those can, can bring those mental anguish and issues on as well. But again, you have to know and understand that whatever it is that you've gone through in life, be it, you know, somebody brought that mental anguish on you, you brought it on yourself, whether it was out of your control or your fault or not, it's on you. It's your problem to deal with. It's on you to take back your power, you to take control of the reins, and you the one that's the captain of this ship. You control where it goes and where to navigate the waters. You. And so it's on you to take back your power and release yourself from that mental bondage and get yourself together and get back on track and fix and making sure your mental health is in check, constant check, you know. It's not going to come, you know, 
so suddenly and it's not going to stay forever. You're forever going to have to deal with trials and tribulations. You're always going to have some type of challenge that you face with in life. And um, these, this information and resources that I'm giving you and these testimonies that I'm giving you guys, uh, just note that uh, faith without work is dead. You're still going to have to put the work in. Even with me, you know, I'm working through it. And I know that it, I'm not I'm near, I'm nowhere out of the woods yet. I'm still, you know, I have to deal with, you know, my mother's birthday coming up in October, as well as, you know, Christmas without her. And then, boom, the next day will be the first, you know, the year anniversary. And I have to deal with this for the rest of my life. You know, every December 26th comes around. It's just a day after Christmas for some people. But for me, it's the worst day of my life. And so every day of my life now, every December 26th, I'm going to have to have some sort of plan of action in play so that I don't go off the deep end or fall into a deep depression and, and go down that road of, you know, wanting to, having that feeling and thought of wanting to end it all. I can see, you know, a lot of people say sometimes suicide is a thought out process. No, it's not. I can see how it can be a, a spontaneous moment. You know, somebody one day can be so happy and the next day they see something or hear something that reminds them of something or triggers them back into their depression and it just, you know, right then and there in that moment and they want to end it all. And so, Suicide is not a, uh, sometimes it's, it's not a simultaneous, uh, excuse me, it's not a thing that can happen over time. It can, but it can also be a simultaneous thing. It's also a permanent solution to a temporary situation. Emphasis on the temporary situation. Again, you guys got to know that whatever you're going through, you get through it. This too shall pass. Sometimes you got to tell yourself those are the sayings or fake it till you make it. This too shall pass. And for those out there, again, now, like I said in Third Eye, we entertain, inspire, and motivate, and as well as educating. So the educational part, we provide you guys with resources, valued resources that you guys can use. Here it is. For those that are living in the U.S., if you're feeling suicidal, know anybody that's feeling suicidal, dealing with depression, anxiety, bullying, any type of mental anguish, please, please give them this number to call and have them speak with somebody or you call this number 1-800-273-8255 or you can go online and do some online research and find some resources at mentalhealthishealth.us and for those who are not in the U.S. and living in the U.K. or any other country or continent you can go to this website. I have to do some research for you guys, but you can go to in counseling. And I'll put it in the uh, description as well. In counseling.com, and it will give you all of the uh, all of the uh, states and countries um, hot crisis hotline numbers and website you can go to for that country. So it's in counseling spelled E N C O U N. S E L I N G dot com in counseling dot com. And I'll put that in the description as well. But those are some valuable resources you guys can check out if you need, you know, some places of uh, direction to who you can go to and talk with, you know, about your issues and your depression and, and any other type of mental anguish that you may be going through. There it is for you to use. So please, again, the numbers for US is 1 800 273 8255. For those that are in the uh, outside the U.S., please go online at incounseling.com. Also, you guys, please also do your own research, do your own homework. Get out there and find what works best for you. Make your own plan of action that helps and works for you and is tailored for you. Sometimes if you have to change it up or add some things or take some things out um, of your plan of action, do that. You know, whatever works best for you that helps you keep your mental health in check and keep you from going off the deep end and, 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 and such, making sure you don't take nobody with you, do it. Um, I can't stress that enough, you guys. But I also want to take this time to, you know, have a moment of silence for those who are no longer with us, you know, due to suicide or anybody that's lost their lives to gun violence. And, and so, like I said, we just had the Uvalde shooting last week, you know, a tragic accident here in Texas, Uvalde, Texas, where an 18-year-old, uh, soon as he turned of age, went and purchased AR-15 uh, rifle. <clears throat> 
and went and shot up the elementary school, Rob Evermene, and New Valley, Texas, and killing, I think, about 19 children, babies, you know, not even, you know, in middle school, and as well as three adults were killed. And so, um, my condolences and my prayers and thoughts are with the victims and their families, as well as everybody else that's affected by it, as well as others that are no longer here with us due to suicide or suffering at the hands of, of, of the loss of somebody else, you know, who, who was having mental anguish. And so I want to take this moment to, you know, have a moment of silence for them. And so if you can, you guys bow your heads and a moment of prayer for them. And then I'll come back on, give you guys some more information, and then we'll close out. All right, everybody, so welcome back. Um, for those who are tuning in, we just did a moment of silence for those that are no longer here, that have, you know, lost their lives due to suicide or people, you know, who have lost their lives due to senseless gun violence for people who have suffered through, you know, any type of mental anguish or, you know, just anything, you know, we, that are no longer here and they should be. That one's for you. This one is for you guys as well as I want to take this time to dedicate it to my mother, her show, Raina Schoenberg. Um, may she rest in peace. Um, <clears throat> and so, coming off of that, you know, hi, talking about that, again, make sure you guys keep yourselves a plan of action if you're going through any type of mental anguish, depression, anxiety, et cetera, et cetera. It's on you to be the captain of your ship to take control and make sure you're navigating the waters correctly and not going off the deep end. You don't take nobody with you. Um, so with that, again, also know that it's okay to not be okay, but just don't sit there and not be okay. It's on you to go and get help, go talk to somebody, go get a plan of action, go pick up some hobbies, go, go mend those broken bridges, go cut those relationships off that mean you know well, go do what it is that you have to do to keep yourself and your mental health in check. You're the captain of this ship. Remember that. Okay? And again... 1-800-273-8255 or go online at mcounseling.com as well as again do your own research and your own homework when it comes to this topic it's on you you're the captain so get find what works best for you it's just what works for me and i find what works for you guys and me sharing my testimony is also part of my plan of action and it's very therapeutic me being able to talk with people who don't even know me because i know even though we don't know each other it's a lot of people who understand where I'm coming from and know what I'm going through so it helps me and comforts me in knowing that I'm not alone and please know that you are not alone okay so with that being said you guys we're going to end that on a good note on a high note for Difference World Vlog for this one uh, stay tuned we got more coming and again don't forget go to my website and get my book what if a controversial paradigm shift available at differenceworld.net again a book that's written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in america done through graphic and provocative illustrations again so it's on folks only sorry intended for a mature audience only uh <clears throat> adults you can read this with your children and explain through the and also I want to take this time to give a big shout out to my boy McConan out there representing Ghana. Um, just did an international book tour or a virtual international book tour, one of my first. Had a very good time speaking at the Black Books show. So if you guys haven't got a chance, check him out. He's awesome. Um, big shout out to him for having me as well as I just did a, a podcast interview with my boy Theron. So be on the lookout for that. It's coming up. Uh, what else we got coming up for you guys? I got more travel vlogs I'm dropping coming up for the month of June. I'll be doing some more social awareness issues in June, uh, the month coming up. We got Juneteenth as well as June being um, Gay Pride Month. And so I'll be doing a vlog dedicated to uh, Pride Month. Uh, so be on the lookout for that, you guys. 
as well as what else we got going on. I got a lot of things going on uh, in the world, so that's why you got to go to my website, difference12.net, and you know, look at my schedule and see what I have coming up next, as well as you can check out my blogs there. Um, I do know that I said I had a vlog coming on in regards to uh, chakra healing. That's coming up, you guys. Um, I have, like I said, I'm, I'm I'd like to try to practice what I preach and so before I give out information I like to do my research I like to make sure I know what I'm talking about so therefore when trolls come in and they want to play with you you know they won't be able to play with this one they'll know that I come with receipts and so um, that video is coming shortly be on the lookout for that um, and so what else, else what else what else that's about it you guys again making sure you know, keeping your mental health in check like i said this was this video is about you know mental health awareness you know with the month of may being that month that you know everybody checks in and making sure that they are you know talking about or are having some sort of plan of action to making sure they're keeping their mental health in check because me I don't want to go off the deep end, and I'm not trying to, you know, I'm, I, I, my mother, I know she's looking down on me right now, and if I were to take that route, she'd be very disappointed in me, you know, because I have so much to live for, especially my nephew, um, and so understand you guys have a lot to live for as well, you're worthy of it, and you matter, and we need you here, and even though I don't know you, you don't know me, I love you, I care about you. And if you guys need anybody to talk to, just hit me up on the messengers. You know, let me know your thoughts and, you know, your, your testimonies. Again, like I said, it's not just a one-way street, you guys. I want you guys to interact with me as well. And so leave me those comments. That's why I want you to like, share, comment, and subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel, you guys. And then, then remember, when, there's, when it comes to you guys attending and achieving your goals and your plans you got to manifest plan prepare for it and then it will surely come to you guys different world come and learn what if what if in 1619 africans started dealing in slave trading the tables were turned around what if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustrations? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.